Welcome to Home Cooking. This is the show that celebrates Toronto's most passionate home cooks. I'm your host, Therese de Grace. Today, Lena and Roger have opened their home to us, and we're going to have a little taste of Morocco in the heart of Toronto. We're going to start off with some tea and get cooking. This looks beautiful. My first food memory was in India with my mother and my auntie. Every Sunday afternoon, they would prepare chana batura. And chana is um, chickpeas, like masala chickpeas, and batura is um, deep fried puris. They would prepare the puris outside, and the entire neighborhood and the community would join in, and we'd all eat together. So it was friends and family gathering together. And the best was the smell. Like as soon as the, the dough would hit the grease and the smell from the, um, the puri being prepared. We're in the kitchen with Lena. Really exciting day making Moroccan food. So these are some of the core ingredients. Let's talk a little bit about them. Absolutely. So to prepare the tagine, we're going to use a lot of uh, root vegetables. So we're going to start with the sweet potato, the baking potatoes, the new potatoes, the red and white potato, and um, we're going to have seasoned red onions and white onions, mm -hmm. along with the lamb. And those are lamb pieces, and there's a little bit of fat, which is important, right? It is important, yeah. Okay. I mean, and, and that's, it's good to have a good fat. Exactly. Well, we've said on this show, fat makes things taste good, so. You got it. Yeah. <laughs> so for dessert, um, we have the fresh oranges, which I'll peel and slice and we'll prepare with the fresh mint. Beautiful. Now the spices for the tagine are incredibly important. Um, so we're going to have to, I like to do an overnight marinade or you can do like five hours in the refrigerator. So we're going to um, season it with salt ginger, paprika, cumin, turmeric, cinnamon, almonds, and coriander. We also have the apricots and the prunes because that's going to give the sweetness okay. once it um, uh, prepares in the tajin in the, in the oven for the two hours. It's a two hour slow cook. And this is the dry couscous. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, um, I also marinate with saffron. And this is um, very expensive saffron. Morocco is known for producing some beautiful gold saffron. And I picked this up when I was in Marrakesh in the souk. So um, I did a lot of haggling to get this deal of the saffron. Well, it's, it takes a lot to harvest it, right? So it's yes. expensive. Yes. It's hand-picked, it I think. And it's yeah. hand-picked, mm -hmm. yes. And um, for the dessert, this is orange flower water. So we're going to um, sprinkle a bit of that. And when I marinate the, the lamb with the vegetables, this is argan oil. And this is only available in Morocco, just outside of Essaouira. You can purchase the argan oil. I've only seen it once uh, in St. Lawrence Market downstairs. But um, there's a really interesting story about the argan oil. Shall I tell you? Yes, we want to know. Okay, so <laughs> along my journey, because I was learning about um, the argan nut, because that's where the where the oil comes from. I noticed there were goats climbing the argan tree, and I was like. Are these goats climbing trees? And I couldn't, I, I've never seen that before. So they were climbing trees. And little did I know, they were, um, you know, um, ingesting the, the nut. And um, when it goes through the digestive system, because it's a hard nut initially, it breaks down into a kernel. And then they would excrete to the kernel. So it would go in and come out the other end. And the uh, so what people would do, um, the farmers or or the ladies from the co-op who prepare the actual oil, they would grab the kernels and then 
crack the kernel and that's where the nut resides. Well, it's a different way to harvest for sure. Yes. But it works and it's uh, one of these things that you absolutely don't see every day. True. And it tastes good. Well, we're going to see <laughs> later, right? We're going to see for sure when we taste later. And on that note, we're going to take a quick break and when we come back, we're rocking food. We'll see you in a minute.